what is good everybody so today i'm going to show y'all how i do my shakes on i like motion so first all you have to do is get your clip on the app now you you'll go to the clip where you want the shake to start for me i want it i want the shake to start at this clip right there so i'm gonna add a mark like this and i'm gonna slit the clip just like this now that you have your two clips separated what i'm gonna do is click on the second clip go on the fx add a new effect and click on tiles right there now you're gonna click on mirror and, you, and you're gonna close the menu now what you're gonna do is go and go ahead and add a new effect you're gonna go and move and transform and you're gonna click on osculate now you're gonna put the angle at 90 degrees or something close to 90 degrees doesn't really matter and what you're gonna do is go on frequency and magnitude and add two uh, and add keyframes at the beginning of the clip go a little bit not too much but a little bit further and do the same for magnitude and frequency and now go at the beginning of your clip at the first keyframe and just put the magnitude and the frequency all the way up and go at the second keyframe and put them all the way down now you're supposed to have something like this but it isn't really smooth though so what you're gonna do is go ahead and add a new effect you're gonna search for a motion blur right there you can see it's, it's a little bit smoother but if you want to add some spices what you can do is add a distortion effect so you'll have to add a fractal warp effect for a better effect you know so go on magnitude add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and go a little bit further and add the second keyframe and with the second keyframe you're gonna put it at zero now the first keyframe you're gonna put it at a value that you that you like and i suggest you to lower the octaves for the distortion to be a bit smoother now for the position you're gonna add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and a little bit further where you ended the magnitude effect right there now you're gonna just scroll the y-axis so the distortion can move a little you know you can put the second keyframe a little bit further same for the magnitude you can adjust it to see the best result that you like and you can add a graph also now what i suggest to do is put always put the motion blur at the end at the end so me personally i did the fractal warp after the motion blur so what i'm gonna do is simply put the motion blur back ahead so it can affect all the effects you know so now what we're going to do is add a new effect and click on exposure and gamma and you're going to add a keyframe at the beginning of your clip and another one a little further so for the first keyframe you're going to put the exposure up and you're going to let the second keyframe at zero and this is how it's supposed to look so this is how i do my shake really simple really fast to do it's not really fancy but it's really useful if you just want a simple edit for your videos and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video if this helped you and if you're interested in buying my fx pack for i like motion users don't hesitate to buy it and don't forget to follow my instagram and my tiktok and yeah see you later in another video